hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video for today's video as you guys read on the title i am going to be reviewing the one and only new translucent powder from laura messier this is in the shade honey it does come in the original shade which is just a translucent white powder so this time around they came out with a translucent powder but in the shade honey so this is mostly and specifically for medium tone skin so I am very excited to try it because I am linear tone. I do have yellow undertone. So this will actually fit me perfectly if it does work for me. I don't know if this is more for darker medium tones. I'm not sure. So I want to try it for myself. If you guys watch my videos from before, you guys know I'm really into Laura Messier. I used the translucent loose powder since I can remember literally years ago. So I love their product. So I just wanted to let you guys know this video is not sponsored, but they did send me this over free. I am in their PR list, but everything else that I say comes from me and it's going to be an honest review so now taking that out of the way let's just jump into the video okay guys so i already moisturized my face i used a whole different moisturizer that i'm very loyal to i am now going to go ahead and prime it with the laura mercier hydrating foundation primer i've been swearing by this primer this is the only primer i've been using lately i do have another one from laura mercier it is this one but i do prefer the hydrating one over this one but i do have options i have like tons of primers but i've been in love with this one i literally just take just a tiny bit like this and i use it on my t-zone this is not really going to be a makeup tutorial i'm really just going to be reacting to how the powder fits my skin tone so on and so forth so because i am not going to be using a laura mercier foundation i am going to go ahead and do that off the camera and i'll be right back okay guys so i am back i'm looking like a grease ball and i don't even have bronzer on i just put on my foundation and my concealer and if you guys have watched any of my old makeup tutorials i usually bake my face around this step so i am going to go ahead and jump into the new powder so i have them over here they actually sent the regular translucent one that i love and use for all of my looks and everyday makeup um and this is the new shade honey so i'm going to take it out of the box and show you guys hopefully this fits because honestly my highlighter is um a little light so i don't want this to kind of ruin my application if it makes sense like if it's too a little too dark for me i don't want it to kind of darken my skin or something but i am definitely going to try because i want to know if it works for me you know there's a, literally a building being built next to my house and they literally take no days off they've been building that thing day and night okay so this is how it looks i think it might work for me because it's not really too dark as the other um powders that they have because they do have different shades i believe i've never tried them but this one because it's still a translucent powder i think it's gonna work for my skin tone because like i said it's translucent but it just has that honey um yellowish undertone which i love it reminds me of the banana powder so let's just dip into it i'm just gonna try it with their sponge we but i already put it over here and i don't want to throw it out okay i'm just gonna use this one for like around the face so i'm gonna leave it right here and i am going to use their sponge so this is a sponge i'm going to use this one because they did send it over and i want to see how it applies with it i've never used one of these i have like three of them at this point but yeah so this is how it looks i'm going to just it just gives me a little bit of anxiety because it's white and i don't want to dirty it but whatever that's what it's for right okay so let me just and then you're supposed to just dab the ac extra powder and go ahead and apply okay okay this is not bad at all i actually like how it looks what it has no color whatsoever I guess it's really just about the undertone which is the yellowish to it and that's why it's for medium tone skin i'm loving this it literally like it has no color but it still matches my skin so good this one is just like the translucent powder because it's still a translucent powder 
but it just has that little kick to it like that little yellowish undertone i'm loving this like i thought that this was going to be a little more pigmented that's what i was going in with but it actually has no pigment at all it just literally has a darker undertone compared to the regular translucent one i'm just going to go ahead and dab it all around the face since it's translucent i think i might be actually switching over to the honey instead of the regular translucent powder what do you guys think yeah period <laughs> so i did oi. so i did have some over here on the sponge so i'm just really taking it from there and put it on my face this bitch is set in place period <laughs> And then to get into the corners, I guess you go like this. But I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And then I have to conceal over here. So I'll be right back. Because we're going to set that in place too. It's a pick like a house of cards. I'm blow from in. Do you ever feel already 30? Six feet on the skin. Okay guys, so I'm back. I went ahead and did my brows and I am now going to set them. So I usually take the translucent powder and just go all over my lid with a little brush, fluffy brush. Oh my God, this wasn't clean. Okay, retreat. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one because I didn't want anything on my lid. So I am now going to go ahead and bronze my face with this bronzer. It's also from Laura Mercier. This is the color right here because I am literally about to mispronounce, mispronounce that. So yeah, that's that. I am going to use this random brush. I do have a brush from Laura Mercier actually. They did send over a brush for this, but I don't know where I put it. I literally have no idea. And you guys, I literally love the Laura Mercier brand so much. Like, it's not really just because, oh, I'm on the pre-art list or whatever it is. Because that literally happened out of nowhere. Like, I was so shocked when they added me to their list. But regardless of that, like, I remember the first time that I bought any product from them. This is kind of not doing much to me. I don't know if you guys can notice that. I'll probably just go ahead with my other bronzer. But let me just keep adding to see um but anyways i remember like five years ago buying their first product which was the translucent loose powder and i remember it so well because ricardo and i had just started dating and he actually purchased it for me from sephora that's when i started to be really into youtube for makeup and stuff so this bronzer is actually coming out really nice really subtle it's not like out there like screaming oh my god i have contour but it's really golden which i love and i'm also going to of course put it down here so i am now going to use this brightening powder for the under eye i am going to use the same sponge i'm loving this i think i'm actually going to keep using this because it's actually easy to use like so i'm going to go ahead and apply this under my eye area and i'm going to let it sit for a bit before removing it just to make sure it does its trick and you want to make sure to go up here just because it's going to lift up your face you don't want to drag it to the side you want to lift it it's my little trick brows as well you want to make sure that your brows are coming out here instead of coming down but i don't know who did that bro don't know her Okay, so I am now going to use the same bronzer for my lid because I am not going to use eyeshadow. So the same bronzer, I'm just going to take a little bit of it and go over this bitch. Cool. I'm going for like a natural, natural look. So I think that this is good. By the way, you guys, what do you think of my new ponytail this is my real hair i literally just got so upset <laughs> that is 
such a Hispanic saying. Well, my family, that's what as they refer to it. Like, y si te pique, te el pelo. It's funnier when a funny person says it, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the brightening powder from my face. I think that's good. And I'm using this big fluffy brush. Kabuki brush. Still using the same bronzer. I'm going to apply a little bit under my eyes. Good. I'm gonna leave it at that because you know when something is good and you keep going at it and then you damage it and then you're like, fuck. I don't want to go there. Okay, so going into my favorite part. What is it? You guessed it. Blush. I'm going to use... Again, Laura Mercier, we already know, it's in the color Rose. I do have another one from them, but I think that this is my favorite one. Okay, it's really pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. And just a little trick, you guys, if you do go too harsh on the blush and you want to remove a little bit, just take some translucent powder and go over it and you just dab on the skin or just go over it with a clean brush and it's going to come off. Just a little trick. Okay, so I am now going to highlight. I'm going to be using this one. It's like a golden highlighter and it's called Addiction. I'm going to use this very small, tiny brush. So I went ahead and spray my face for my... I forgot that I used this for the brightening powder. Okay, so I am now going to go ahead and use this eyeliner and this flat brush from Laura Mercier as well. Okay, so I thought I was going to do a very simple eyeliner, but as we can see, it didn't go as planned, and I actually like it. I think that this side is longer than this one, but we're not going to go there because you know when you start seeing things and then you go ahead. It's like that TikTok, like, girl, don't do it. I did it. I'm going to go ahead and... Put on some mascara and of course i'm going to be using one from laura messier this is the caviar volume mascara and i'm going to go ahead and put this bitch on i'll be right back i'm going to use this um lipstick it's in the shade hot okay guys so i went ahead and put on my lashes this look is now complete i'm very excited and i love how it came out it's very natural but at the same time we already know that this is a full-on face of makeup but it's not cakey whatsoever and i love the results last and general thought about the new translucent powder i love it to be quite honest at the beginning i wasn't really seeing the difference but honestly this one just sets in and it blends in with my foundation tone because it has that yellowish undertone and i have like i'm seriously yellow like seriously <laughs> but yeah so because of the undertone it just completely blends in with my foundation and i love that also i've been had that um what's it called the bronzer that i mentioned that i had you guys will be seeing me wearing this thing more often if you do want to see more of me go ahead and follow me on instagram this is my instagram right here don't forget to subscribe down below turn on those post notifications and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up anyways i'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching Turn up the music. You had your time, girl. Alexa, turn up the music. It's the last time you disrespect me, girl. I will disconnect your ass. Period. <laughs>